Hey, this is Team Phoenix, and we're back with episode 17. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate the support. Let's get to it. <clears throat> right. So, this is picking up from last episode, but it's where I've had quite a, a long break in real life. So, we're just going to uh, get back into it, and I, this is the bit where I lost a lot of footage. So you're gonna have to bear with me because I've done these bits of the game for quite right, a long, uh, quite a few times already. So first things first, I'm quite low on alchemy stuff, so we're just going to meditate, and then I'm gonna do this quest with Ign Ignus Fatus oh, uh, for two, so however you say it. Um, you know, I never realised it had double U in the name, um, but. I'm gonna catch up to where we were. I'm gonna make sure that I get all this stuff sorted. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna catch up. So first things first. Always get the toxicity with enough um, spare that I can use. Swallow as one of them. Got uh, a little bit of toxicity there, so we'll get that to wear off. And then, wait, what was the contract I just got? get on that because that's what we want to be doing at the minute which contracts about level 12 swamp thing swamp thing mm -mm -mm -mm. you make my heart sing right so catching up going doing this stuff why is my little dotted line on the map nowhere near where i need to be going <clears throat> right let's go thunderbolt get that going as well ordinary fog this <laughs> I've never actually checked if um, Killer Whale makes any difference for this kind of thing. I always used it in, you know, the uh, Through Time and Space quest. I always made sure to use it uh, in that, in case it lets you hold your breath longer for that as well. Which, But I've never actually tested if it does or not, and it's difficult to discern if it does make a difference. <clears throat> With the naked eye. Whatever. Corpse is decomposed almost completely. Mm. Yes, I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding oh, behind an foglet illusion. Hey. <laughs> Foglets are dangerous. As you have probably realised, though, um, using if you've been watching the other episodes, the ard is a great way <laughs> of dealing with them. Illusion. It knocks them out of their fog um, because you can hit them with igni, but it's only a very short sort of hit if uh, you basically like you can hit them with Igni but unless it sets them on fire unless you actually get you know uh, that toxicity there um, and set them on fire they don't stay out of the fog for very long so you want to be uh, sort of using Ard more more of the time in my opinion so here we go very ugly looking beastie but cool design does a lot of damage on death march you can kill you in like four or five hits um, and they can hit you in quick succession quite quickly as well so important to sort of deal with that sword with the red runes on there quite like that don't actually know what rune we've got in the sword but kind of cool anyway probably the uh, divana one actually still that three percent bleeding chance is pretty cool so there's ignis fatus of fatus and uh, yeah like I say Ard is a really good way to go also, we'll be getting Enhanced Petri on there, um, as soon as possible. Where are you? And that's why it's useful, because you can hit him like that. You can just about um, get your sign intensity high enough to knock it down, and you can insta-kill it. I've done it once or twice. Well, I guess I've done it twice or three times now. So I think you need a pretty decent amount of um, sign intensity to be able to do that. Carabella. Why does that sword sound familiar? I swear it's the similar. It's a similar name to the one you get in Blood and Wine, the uh, one for the Hen Guider sword, but it's not the same. Kind of cool. Though. Sell that or dismantle it later if it makes anything good. So yeah, that's a good way of dealing with Fognets. Uh, Ignis Fatus can be dealt with by insta killing him, but the rest of the time you just want to like. Most of the time you're going to be using the. Uh, to knock him out of the fog and then get a few solid hits on and things. Enhanced relic oil, very nice. Make sure we get that. And the Ursine Superior Sword diagram, very good. Always good to pick these things up uh, now so that you don't have to 
come back for them when you've got the uh, you know the quest for whatever else so uh, the quest for getting the diagrams and stuff like that so that's very useful keep trying to use Gordon Oriole so as soon as the toxicity is worn off I can use that got anything interesting around here nothing in this room unless it's where I just killed him but yeah right found a different entrance marker actually using it as an exit and get some drowners might as well kill those while I'm here oh mucknixer and these are a bit higher level so we'll try and group them together and uh, get some of the burning going so we get the poisoning going first then we can use dragon dream as well get out of it get that burning applied and try and get any damage over time that we can and that's why we want to be putting Quen back on because they can hit us fairly hard as well so we'll get Quen going as well get them burning the best thing about burning is well one of the great things about burning is it also distracts them stops them from actually hitting you and then yeah get out of it Interesting. Did we get anything good from these? Drown the brain. Wow. Not got any of those. Well, never mind. Monster heart. Sometimes you get monster hearts and things uh, of that nature directly, like the hearts and the hair and things. And sometimes you get like a specific one, like Lamia hair or something like that. And uh, then you can dismantle those if you need to get one of the basic ones like if you need a monster hide you can dismantle it from an um from a uh like a short hide or something like that i couldn't think of a, an example of hides that you can dismantle but like yeah so if you have a short hide you might need a short hide for some things or some things you'll need a monster hide and like a necrophage hide or a short hide you can dismantle those um to get the actual monster hide so that's a good thing if you're making some of the witcher gear sets you need like the uh, generic ones like that so have a look with the uh, armorers or any of the herbalists that can uh, dismantle things I think herbalists can dismantle as well and they uh, might be able to make what you need from something that you already have if you do that with a master, master armor you get twice as many of the item as well Right, so I think that's the same cage, mm, cave. Here. Ah. That yeah, just here a bit of the me. quest that I already uh, missed, but I already killed the thing, so it's no need. So, where's this guy? Go and get this. Got most of my potions going already. Cool. Uh, he doesn't I... have the money for you. Ma Hang on. Master, show some. Mm, so you can see it in a week and uh, a week, uh, and get twice as much, or you can just get it now. Shit like. never Here. Good. Anyway, uh, just because I can't be bothered coming back in a week, so if any of you think that's mean, I don't care. In fact. I do care. I care a lot. You can show me by leaving a like. Mm, yeah, that'll really show me. Maybe even subscribing, and that'll that'll be me shown. Uh, right. So what else have we got? Killed that guy. Those are going to be more drowners. What other potions have we got? Ooh, we have got. Have we got Maribor going already? Probably, but like, get it on there just in case. You don't use cat because we don't want to be blinded all the time. And then once we've got everything going, yeah, I had Maribor going already. But once we've got everything going, uh, all the main ones, then I just keep using the potions that are in my quick selects, and um, just until I've used up most of the potions. And then at a convenient point, I can just meditate again and start the process all over again. Uh, right. So what else have we got? I was looking for a quest marker, but we don't have a quest marker on, and that's because we're up to doing Ladies of the Wood. So let's have a look. I want to be doing that, then we'll get on to Triss's quest. There are a few of these. We can talk to the Peller and collect that quest. Got the House of Reardon one as well. Um, 
but yeah, whilst we're here in the bog, we'll go and do that first. How far is that for me to... Oh, right, well, we're right here. I was going to say, do I need to get roach, but nope, we're right here. So, at the start of the shrine already. And we've already got necrophage oil on. So, take out these drowners. What now? What now, you piece of milk? Yeah, because I've already got fixative, I've got the three oils on, which is very convenient for not having to reapply oils. Uh, and obviously with delayed recovery, we've got all of the potions active all at once, which is what gives us this immense power and ability to just, you know, have the higher sign intensity from the uh, advanced Petri, but also have the re stamina recovery available for the... See, look, that one's run away. He knows. He knows. Yeah, yeah. Come on. So that's why we're able to inflict the burning. It's also why we've got uh, higher sign intensity uh, for better chance to knock over with things like Ard. Great fun. Right, we'll go and get this one last guy. Uh, and also, we've also got quicker stamina regeneration for using them quicker, uh, more frequently, using these signs more frequently, and things of that nature. So. Delayed recovery, super powerful and extremely strong. Super powerful and extremely strong. Super powerful and extremely fun. So yeah, love me some delayed recovery. Right, start of this trail is here. Yes, thank you. Uh huh. And then we just got to do this. Follow this path. Really difficult trail to track this. It being a path. <coughs> Yeah. All right. Following this through. Not quite got enough toxicity to use another yet, but that means we're also in no danger of it running out anytime soon. So again, I've said this multiple times already, but just a good idea to uh, get into the habit of, you know, uh, trying to slam potions as you're running about. If you're using the delayed recovery version, if you're using fast metabolism, you just meditate more often, but you only use the actual um, potions when you are in combat. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I know who this is. Just yeah. maybe daughter. Mm. What are you? Yep. Alright. So let's go. Let's Find out where we're supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, we gotta to talk to this guy kid, except he don't wanna to talk to us, so we'll do all the bit with Johnny. Again, I think I had to do this section twice and I lost all of the footage. Uh, cause it wasn't recording properly, so I'm hoping that it's recording properly now. It seems to be, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got to do this bit. She's not going to let us talk to us. Alright, just... Uh -huh. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Right. Uh, yeah, let's go. Alright. Alright, I don't know if you actually lose anything for that. Um... But yeah, it is funny this bit if you listen to it all, but she's Alright. Why you're I'm not very scared at nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just I'm not John. Where can Thank you. Right. So now we gotta go and find Johnny, apparently. Right. Where are we looking? We are going this way. Get Quinn on now, just so we can inevitably, when we inevitably come across some drowners before I even finish my sentence. Can you use uh, Erden to slow them down a bit as well? Very good. Got the bombs if they're getting a bit troublesome, or we just want to try and take them out a little quicker, but between the fire burning from Igni, we can normally take them out. Yeah, you scream. I scream, we all scream. 
Drown the tongue, that'd be great if I didn't already have the thing. It took me so long to get those drown the drown the tongs. I was looking in a previous episode, very annoying. Uh and is this a water hag as well we've got here? Yeah, I like that silver. Right. So here I'll be trying to concentrate on the water hag a little bit, if possible, because they're annoying. Yeah. Um don't bother about getting the uh get we don't have to bother about getting poisoned because um we have the golden oriole active so I can use um the bombs to inflict poison if I want. The puffball also can uh, survive that burning damage fairly well myself. Her being burnt allows me to uh, take out the Drowner and uh, because I've got Swallow active as soon as those are dead I'll recover that pretty quickly. So wasn't too bothered about taking the damage there um, knowing that there's not an immediate danger from those enemies especially not when the water hag's Small actually bur burning already. Johnny's been so here. yeah, pretty good. Right, where's this going? Let's find this little chappy. On the other side of this hillock. Alright. There we go. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. I wonder what's inside as well, Geralt. Wonder if it's a godling called Johnny who's lost his voice. Johnny, well, soon found out. Find out. Uh, godling. Help. Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. What's, what? Lost? Can I? All right. No. Okie dokie. You have to uh, fight more necrophages as we're going along. I do have the fixative skill, um, but that one's not essential really. Um, it's a sort of quality of life. It's useful, um, but I don't need it. Come back and grab this stuff afterwards. Oh, bandit. Right, you're annoying me. So, let's get this guy going first. Try and set these barrels burning, because this will kill the rest of them. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Right, so if they get in range of the barrels, that'll do a lot of damage. If not, then I'll just have to take them out. Got Northern Wind, not used a few of those, so especially whilst they're all together, it's a devastatingly effective bomb. Love Northern Wind. The uh, superior one's absolutely ridiculous when you get that really good. So he's poisoning, which is great. And when you get near enough to the archers, they'll put their uh, bows away. Uh, is he the only one left alive? Yeah. Okay, okay. Grab everything that they have to offer, just because I'll be selling this stuff later. And see what we've got round here. What do you have? Enhanced black blood, very nice. I'll make that for next time I use it as well. Hmm. Oh yeah, something around here too. Anything useful? What else have we got? Can we get that one? Is that the enhanced black blood? Yeah, probably. Make that soon. In fact, I've got enough toxicity to make that now and use it. So we'll do that. Uh, where are we? Enhanced Black Blood. Cool. And we'll use that so it'll override the uh, regular one that we've got in use at the moment. Where's Johnny gone? Oh, there he is. More drowners. burning again. Should really keep Gwen up but they're not doing a ton of damage especially because we've got protective coating. Not often be taking multiple hits from them because they'll be stopped by the burning and also 
Um, Erden slows them down, but Quentin is still useful, obviously. So, should get into the habit of keeping that up for when we have some more difficult things to deal with. Managed to uh, burn those and get the honeycomb during the same combat as well. Lots of good little things to grab, like um, like that chest that had the enhanced black blood. There are things of that nature. Uh huh. Like this superior dragon's dream. That's cool. Superior dragon's dream. Very good. Hmm. It's a fun one. I wonder if I could make that actually. Probably. Interesting, because when I played this the first time through before I lost the footage of things, I got uh, enhanced swallow from one of those. Um, this. So I guess that can yes. change if you leave it a bit of time before you play, whereas I thought they were fixed from the start of the playthrough. That is interesting. I wonder what causes that to change. Or maybe I'm misremembering. I'll have to uh, go back and see. That was very interesting. Hmm. Right, so. Hybrids and there's also a wyvern knocking about. So the three oils that I want to put on for now are Necrophage for the next time I run into those. Uh, cursed oil for the hybrid Strachnid oil. For when the uh, lesson turns up. Take out the harpies if you can. Very, very annoying. Again, set them burning. Knocks them out of the sky. You can also insta-kill them with Ard a lot of the time. Like that. Get out. Oh, shut up, you noisy beggar. It doesn't knock him down. Still getting you a free hit and everything else. This bottle. Nice. Now, where is this Draconid? Because I know there is a Draconid knocking about somewhere. Where are you, ugly beastie? I'm sure there was a wyvern around here. Well, there is a wyvern around here. I just don't know where it's gone at the minute. Also, I killed it already. I can vaguely hear it. Maybe. Strange. Right, well usually there'll be a wyvern or some other small draconid around there. That you have to fight if you're doing that part, but never mind. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Yeah. Get Johnny's voice back. Done. Yeah. Hang. Okay. I'm Hmm. What do you know of? They're as old as this for. What a cruel, vindictive, and not to be crossed. Hmm. All right. Get this going. Anything here? Uh, probably nothing crucial. Drown us, have fun. Not any of those for a while. Right, with them burning by the barrel, that'll probably kill two or three of them outright. Oh, dodged. Very clever. Yeah, yeah. Get out of it. Monster tooth. Okay. Can never get in there, weirdly. Um, but just one of those little oddities. Anything else for me to grab around here? Not seeing any other flashes of yellow. Probably more drowners over that way. Mushrooms. Hag over there. Okie doke. Yep. 
Damn it. Ow. Yeah, see, war tags do a decent amount of damage as well. A little careful of those. So that's a good idea to uh, get them burning. And as you can see, because I wasn't, I was looking around for that other stuff. I let my things wear off for delayed recovery, which is sometimes the problem. But that's when you can just use white honey and put your main ones on again. So we'll go with those. And then, as long as you get swallow on, swallow's the main one. And then, you know, it's time to meditate after that, which will be great. See how quickly you recover health with the swallow? Really good. Yeah, yeah. Burn! Rip off a large chunk of that health, even on deathmatch. And because you get the criticals and the damage from Thunderbolts, really good. You can uh, stay close as long as you've got Quen up with no fear, and then just back off if you do take the hit. Go and kill this guy. A girl. Pretty sure it's a guy. Yeah. I love the alchemy style of playthrough because you have to actually use your knowledge of the game a little bit like it benefits you to know which um, specific oils are for specific enemies and things and it's just a bit more witchery but it's also extremely strong so yeah so I got enhanced swallow from that one before but this time I got the superior dragon stream which is a little odd was not expecting that I'll have to see if one of the uh, herbalists will have the enhanced swallow for sale or something like that after I've finished off this particular bit. Still alright with the regular swallow but really good to have the higher amounts of healing from enhanced swallow. Okay so we come back this way and we have to talk to Gran. Alright. Alright. Right. Please. I will. Where? Come with me. Okie doke. Johnny. Who are you? Matters to me. I believe. Oh. It's dark. Disturbing little conversations here. I'll go through all this stuff. Mm. It is a cool part of the game, this. Place the Grim. Right, loads of stuff to grab here. A lot of it's good for making things like. Um. The oils, a couple of bear fats and things without having to kill bears, which is always useful. Bison grass, which you uh, very rarely pick up. And you need for crafting the beast oil and stuff. We're just going to grab all this. Not that we need suet mushrooms, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, again, some reasonable stuff to pick up here. Nothing amazing, but you know, free stuff, innit? You like free more bear fat. I actually bought a few bear fat on this uh, playthrough already. Ominous uh, skulls. Bones. Hmm. Extremely super dodgy. Not worried about. The, not too worried about the. Um, hmm. Why are there small cages? I wonder. God damn, this game's good, but it has some de deliberately grim choices and scenes and things that you uh, have to make and partake in this being one of them right so we've got everything there molly arrow, pring, molly arrow and pring grape blah, 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 blah. and now we're going to go and talk to the elderman now on the way I'll probably come across the um, What's it called? There's an Al Ghul 
and it's one of the very few sources of lesser red mutagens. So if you want lesser red mutagens before you get to Skelliger, fighting this Al Ghul is one of the ways to do it. So Maribor, Tawny, Black Blood, Blizzard. And then as soon as the toxicity wears off, we'll get Swallow going. So a bit greedy, put myself in a little bit of a perilous situation. Until I can use Swallow. I'll <laughs> be losing a bit from losing some health, but he only needs 20, so we're nearly there. Or is it 25 now for Swallow? No, 20 still. Good, good. Already got everything from here. This is already the, the stuff that I'd already looted. <laughs> yep. So yeah, nothing left around here. Unless I've missed something, which I don't think I did. Yeah, that's the Al Ghul. So there's this Al Ghul, not far outside of Down Warren, and this will this will uh, respawn if you fast travel and then fast travel back. So you can fight this thing multiple times and it'll give you a mutagen and sometimes it'll give you a lesser red one. Not often, but sometimes. Yeah. Always a good idea to use Axie on these. Get the bleeding and poisoning on it. Uh, because Axie also makes them put their spikes away because otherwise they can hurt you pretty badly. Kill that, nearly always gives you mutagen. Very, oh, yeah, there you go. Sometimes it'll give you a lesser red. So that's really good because you can't really get lesser reds reliably in Velen. So this is one of the few places that you can get them. So you can fast travel between Down Warren and here. And you can see it on the map. So, like, here's Down Warren, and you could mark this with like a red marker or whatever. And uh, then come back here when you want to fight the Al Ghul if you want to try and get those uh, red mutagens. If you're using a more combat focused build, I actually am uh, finding it very useful to have the higher uh, sign intensity for burning enemies and things because I'm making quite a lot of use of signs and it just synergizes well with having enhanced Petri filter being active a lot of the time. Or virtually all the time once it's been activated with delayed recovery. There's also a few bears you can fight. There's a couple of bears over there in the woods. If you, other than the ones that you pick up. So yeah. We'll speak to the Elderman. There's also a guy that you can play uh, Gwent with. And a place of power not too far from here as well. Which I've covered in my Death March guide. So yeah. Don't think he'll have anything particularly interesting, but could buy a couple of mandrake cordial, I suppose. You need mandrake cordial and cherry cordial um, to be making white gull. So, case in point, I do have something that I can make with that, from what I remember. So for a Superior Devil's Puffball, we need a Rebus, and for Superior Dragon's Dream, we need Ether and Allspice. So Ether and Rebus. Have we got the things to make those? No. So I need Ergo Seeds, Allspice. Need a couple of those. And what was the other one? Ether. Right. So I need Ergo Seeds basically. I'll buy some of those Ergo Seeds and Allspice next time I'm at a Herbalist. And now I can make some superior bombs. Cool. We seen that dream again. We was running through the woods, following a whisper. Oh, I think that's the Elderman. I'll speak to him after I've looted this other house. Yeah. Greetings. Sup. Night. Well, a re if you get not wrecking. Hmm. So, I must. I don't belong to anyone. Don't. Uh, I'm the under least the, of all them. Right, lady. Like, but my, um, you be. Okay, so I already have the fast travel market for the wood. I've already been there, but 
I'll just ride Roach and come on. Okie dokie. Anything around come here? On. Have I got this stuff already? Is this the same place? <laughs> it's the same place, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. Faster. Right, so there I've just popped my enhanced Petri filter, so I've got all the main ones going. Well, Noriel probably next on the list, although I could do Blizzard as well. Blizzard's very, very powerful, one of the best things to use with delayed recovery. Okay. Looks like rain. Place power around here, but I can't remember if I've got it yet on this playthrough. Find out soon enough, I suppose. I've not because the werewolf's still alive. So let's have a look. This werewolf can be a bit of a pain. I've still actually got the cursed oil on, so don't even have to change oil for it. Got poison in there. Um, it's a good idea to use moon dust bomb if you uh, want to stop their recovery. That'll stop their recovery from taking place unless you miss it entirely, like I did then. But. Um, yeah, because they try and they try and run away and recover, and so if you hit them with the moon dust bomb, that stops them. Makes them a lot easier to uh, defeat. But the burning, the bleeding, the fire, and yeah, werewolf down. And uh, that werewolf mutagen will function the same as a lesser red mutagen, so it will give you a um, five percent boost to your damage. Imagine that I haven't used that one yet, which is correct, because no point fighting the werewolf. Like, I used to go and get all the places of power, like, immediately and fight that werewolf a little bit early, because it used to be five points per skill. But, um, like, five points per skill in terms of it took you five points to maximize each skill but now it's only three so you don't need as many of the places of powers and you need fewer of them to get to the actual um, you need few of them to get to the next levels in the skills because that was all rebalanced in the patch as well so not really as necessary anymore and um, so I only get the places of power as and when I need them there are some that are totally unguarded so I got enough of those so that I could get the skills that I wanted we've got a full moon we'll make that in a minute um, and yeah, you don't. I, I don't feel it's as, as much of a thing that you have to mess about with. Oh well, there I just got the enhanced swallow from somewhere else. Yeah, that's really interesting actually that you get that from somewhere else. Now because those are quite cool potions, um, I'm going to make those right away. Full moon gives you a bit of extra uh, vitality, which is a useful one. Got the. I think Ekimara hides. You only need them for the cursed oil, so I'll make the enhanced ones. Enhanced Relic Oil, you need a Cave Troll Liver, not be getting any of those for a little bit, so we'll make that in due course. And the Arenia Eye that you need for that, you don't get until Skelga, so. I can make, if I can make a Rubedo and a Kebrith, then I would nearly be able to make Superior Hangman's Venom. And Rubedo, let's have a look, can we make a Rubedo? We need a White Gull the very least, because you always need those to make the alchemy substances. Rubedo. Oh, Rubedo. Cool. You can get that mistletoe from the uh, graveyard near the pillars. Good place to get that. So we want to get Enhanced Swallow. We want to get Full Moon. Absolutely. Still need Light Essence, so next time we find a Noon Wraith, we'll fight that for the Light Essence. And we get Superior Beast Oil. Nice. Right, very good. Uh, right, so. Superior beast oil. Cool. Uh, need insectoid oil because these next enemies are insectoids. Not sure if the tree thing counts as cursed. You'd think it would. So we'll go necrophage, uh, cursed, and insectoid at the moment. And then full moon when we get the chance. In fact, we'd want to use Enhanced Swallow first. 
Whoa, so, I make your choice. Which particular evil do you want? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Don't write a dirt on you. Alright, so, get these Endrega workers and burn them. Enhance Swallow now, so now everything's even more effective. See if we can set these things burning. Yeah. Look at the damage, the crazy amount of damage. We've got even more healing from Swallow now, uh, from Enhance Swallow, so we'll need to, uh, We'll need to uh, repair our swords because that's just come up with that bit of the one in there. Kill the tree. Took care of the problem. And grab all these. Cool. Diamond dust. How exciting. Again, you pick up more than enough of the repair kits to repair your swords, or at least I find. Um, some people say that they have to repair their swords like really often, but I wonder if that's because it's a style of play where you're, you know, like guarding and sort of parrying instead a lot, which is interesting. Because I very rarely actually guard or parry, so I wonder if that makes a difference. It may do. Might as well repair this stuff whilst I remember whilst we're here. And the rest of the stuff doesn't really need repairing, so we're pretty good. And as soon as I get the toxicity, I should probably use Blizzard, or I can use Blizzard. And Full Moon. Right, so that's the tree taken care of. These people should be waiting out here for me now. Then I'll go and speak to an alchemist. I also want to go to Todaris, which is the only place that I know for a fact you can get uh, so Devourer good. Blood. Uh, yeah, so and you let's have a look at that. Destroyed the spirit. So Hell yeah. Look. All right. There it was. What the so hell was that? that? Is in the woods. Grim. But also cool. But grim, mostly. I think it just takes you back to the back to the crones. You get a big chunk of experience there as well, which is cool. Damn, dude. Never seek to cross us again. I'll seek to cross you later. Grim. I know that mark. So she's Anna. He used. Lord, did you destroy the E? Yes. So Whose spirit would die? You. Mm. Oh. The weak, like waste, mischievous, stubborn, and sad. No, she blew me, wasn't The young woman I. Why did she. Wrath <laughs> consumes her. No, she doesn't. This is like. <sighs> Some of the bits is playing a Siri. Are some of the bits of the game that I enjoy the least. Um, yeah, not happy. So anyway, they were going to eat Siri because she's a child of the Elder Blood, and because they're just weirdo cannibal evil peoples. In case you can't tell, so you can fight some of these things, or you can just use a cross or a. I think it is on Xbox um, from the button layout, and just you know flee from all of this. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's go. Flee from all of that. Don't know why it was showing me enchanting startup cost there with Siri. I'm not going to be doing that. I know you're being chased by the wild hunt, but you know, just uh, take a bit of time out. Is this is where Imlirith turns up. I'm pretty sure it's Imlirith. Wild hunt are cool until they take the masks off, masks off and then they're just kind of boring. But yeah, that is Imlirith. Your time is coming, mate. Yeah, you're dang right. Mm -hmm. 
I am coming back for you, crones. Fear it. But not for like 20 levels, so you've got a bit of time yet. I wish you could fight him now. I'd just be like, I've got delayed recovery, I don't care. Bring it. I don't care. It'd take me a while, but. Although that is an extremely irritating fight on Death March, so I wouldn't want to make it any any more irritating, to be fair. Is there a marker I can fast travel from here? I want to go to Tadaris. Right, so that would be Family Matters done. There is a fast travel mark around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Yep. Right. Okay. So, let's have a look. <clears throat> Recap of what we want to do. We want to... Get a devourer blood, Devourer's Blood for the Superior Hangman. We also need a Kebrith. Which we can make, so I'll make that now before I forget. Is that Long Rube? Yeah, so we must have bought or picked up one or two Long Rube somewhere. We can make a Red Mutant if we want. We've got enough of the lessers, so that's cool. Might think about that later, although I'm not going to switch it out just yet. No red skills to boost it with yet. Uh, so we need a Rebus, an Ether, some Allspice, uh, and a Devourer's Blood. Right. Okay. So Devourer's Blood we can do. Devourer's Blood we can do. And to do that we want to go to Toderas, which is here. Which is quite tricky to find because otherwise you wouldn't really know it was there there's no fast travel marker particularly close to it I think we've done the Dragon Slayer's Grotto from the looks of things uh, so let's have a look easy way to tell have we got the Griffin diagrams let's have a look yep yeah, right okay that's alright then. Uh, so we've done that bit, we don't need to do that. So we just need to get Roach and we will ride to Toderis. Which is quite a way, but there's no fast travel marker really much closer. There's the down Warren one, but it's not like... loads closer, so... We've already been here, haven't we? Right, don't want to fight those drowners then. So it's not like I need to collect anything from this area. I have already got my Enhanced Swallow again, so we're good. So we're just going to go to Toderas with Roach. Uh, and in Toderas you find like a load of bandits and things. Things? A few bandits and uh, to kill. They're having a squabble or they've there's the bear that you can get bear fat from if you need it. Um, you kill the bandits and then back uh, you'll get all of the um, necrophages and things to like appear. So, that's really good. Right, there's some monster nests here, but we're just going to ride past them now, because I don't really need them. I don't need to do them at the minute. That was Raiden Manor. I should have activated the fast travel marker. In fact, I'll do that whilst I'm in the area. So that I can come back to it. I'm not going to do that quest just yet. Um, it's kind of a cool quest, but I'll do it later. Manor, the old woman mentioned. Yeah. Manor's got a uh, no, come on, Roach. What are you doing? Alright, well, that was annoying. Maybe I will do it now. Stupid beasties. Right, Spectre Oil. Yep. We'll go with you, and Maribor. Yeah. Oh, Toxicity 92. Okay. Like right, honey then. Swallow first, full moon. Get a bit of damage for these things, and then we'll get. The uh, we'll get the um, Tawny out soon after. These things are annoying. If you just avoid the triple spin attack, you're generally all right. My problem is I get too impatient when I'm fighting them. I did that in the Baron's quest as well. So you can just wait for them to come into Erden. Erden slows them down, it makes them easier to hit. They die in a couple of hits like that. So even when they're the same level as you, no problem. And you see they die really quickly if you do that. 
needs a bit of patience and like a dodge and you're normally all right so. anywho Right, well I guess maybe we do take a detour and we do do this now. Because if we've killed a few of them, might as well kill the rest. Not that difficult. It's quite a short quest. Whilst we're in the area we can do it. A journal. Little wear and tear. Diary. Someone's journal. Read this. A few things to pick up. Can't remember if there's anything actually up here, I'm not sure. Maybe. Now this is the marker that I want you to trigger. Do these bits first. There should be a couple of other wraiths to take out. A couple of other things to get. Here's the key to the barn. What door this opens? I wonder. So just make sure you check all the houses here. A few things to loot. Some of them good. Most of it rubbish. But yeah, you know, whatever. Look like twins. Old woman's yeah. brother. Must be. It's quite some deduction to make based on, you know. But I suppose if you know the circumstances. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? So. Keep an eye on the toxicity again. Keep those up. Is that a wraith or was those the wolves and things? I do not know. Anything else to collect? Not really. Oh, there's a wraith on you. Yeah, there's, there's normally more of them about, yeah. Again, doesn't do a lot of damage until you make them solid. So you can see, it was doing 28 damage and then 300 even with a light attack, so... Very important that you use Erden or uh, one of the bombs on those. Moondust being the bomb that uh, makes them corporeal. Alright. So, a couple of things. Uh, Letho will be here if you chose certain options earlier on, but you have to do a quite lengthy quest with him, so purely for the taking less time on the replay, I always say that I killed Letho in Witcher 2, even though that is not true because I've never actually played Witcher 2. And yes, I know I should do. Hmm. Right, nothing else in here. And then the key should allow us to come in this. There we go. And Somebody this is where you get the wife. money, which is the bit that's actually worth coming for. Alright. Give me that money. Something here. The chest. Sweet. A little bit of experience. A few florins. All good. <coughs> no one's been here in a long time. I was going to say, what's he coughing out? But yeah, that's it. Another stock wraith. Now, you piece of Indeed. Yeah. Right, cool. Another Wraith Mutagen, get loads of those. Later in Blood and Wine you can convert those into lesser mutagens. So you end up with absolutely loads of the green ones and then you can combine those into eventually greater green mutagens. And then you can convert those into greater reds. Missing from the journal. But we're a long way away from being able to do that yet. Darkness of hunger and thirst. Nasty. Nope, not alchemy. I don't have the stuff yet. Inventory. Right, what else do we want? We want golden oriole. We want blizzard. Oh, we already got blizzard. We'll go black blood then. Get those at the ready. Right. 
Cool, so that's that quest taken care of. See if there's anything else useful to get around here. Nothing major. A few bits and pieces to sell. Is that a meteorite or a silver ingot? That's very good. Didn't see which it was, but it was one of those. Can you let me get this last thing? There's not going to be anything amazing in there, but it's going to bug me. Ah, oh, whatever. Definitely not going to be anything amazing, so not worth worrying about. Okay. So, now we're going to go to Tolaris. Find our way out again. We've got Enhanced Maribor going now as well. So we've got Swallow, Enhanced Swallow, Full Moon, Enhanced Thunderbolt, Tawny Owl, Blizzard, Enhanced Petri, Golden Oriole and uh, Enhanced Maribor. Right, Monster Nest for the Neckers whilst we're here. Might as well take them out. Need Ogro Oil for those. We're going to need... Yeah, we'll go with the basics. Necrophages in Tadaris. We may find some other stuff in the meantime as well. Bombs are good for Neckers and you get a lot of them around if you can get them concentrated in one place, especially with Erden to keep them all in one place, it's very useful. So let's get a Dragon Stream, do a lot of damage with that. I like that you can switch between all of your bombs on the radio wheel as well. I know it wouldn't make a lot of sense to be able to switch between the oils in the radial menu, but considering you can change them in combat, I do kind of feel like that's one of the only things missing. But never mind. Alright. Quite a few mutagens from these things, which is cool. There are three nests around here. They can actually regenerate um, if you meditate when you stood in between all three of them. And that's one of the things you can use to farm experience if you really want. Um... But I don't need them right now, so we're good. We are just going to carry on. Quite a few little things to do in this area actually, but the main one is to try and get Devourer's Blood. So we've got the Black Blood there as well. We already have the Hangman's Venom and the Beast Oil because we've got Fixative. Alright. See it. Mm. Actually, I see a few monsters. Where? Where? Yeah, right, so these things are annoying. Uh, these things, these guys, because there are a lot of them. So when there are a lot of them, I'm try and deal with them as quickly as possible. So we'll get Puffball going, which we don't care about because we're a witcher. And we have got Golden Oriole. And then you can see how quickly it strips them of all of their uh, health with the burning and everything. Also lets you get hits in on the shield guys, which is really cool. And uh, then, are we down to one guy already? So yeah, that's why bombs are really effective on groups of people. Yeah, get out of it. Which is cool. Obviously, if you don't have Golden Oriole active, you have to be a bit more careful, uh, wary of the fact that... Uh, we're talking quite a few enemies there and you don't want to be hanging about in the poison cloud if you don't have golden oriole active there's quite a, few, a bit to loot here I'll just leave it until I come back and do the rest of it and I'll collect everything all at once um, so I may need to meditate but there are some other things to get here as well there's a camp with a few guys let's find the camp there's another necker Necker Warrior, can't be bothered fighting him. Where's this camp? Right, we'll find the camp, try and take that out, because that gets you like a little mini quest. Where's that going to be? Right, so these are the monster nests. So it's probably going to be around here, somewhere? Let's have a look. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe. Appreciate the support. I'll see you all next time, on the path.